Vitamin D help protect you against the coronavirus. There's growing evidence that supports a connection between the two. And to explain the very latest research, we're joined by Dr. Anthony Cardillo, CEO of Mend Urgent Care and ER physician. Thanks so much for joining us again. So tell us about the research that shows why vitamin D levels may be linked to a person's risk of COVID-19. Well, vitamin D is a phenomenal molecule in our body. It's actually a pro-hormone. It goes through uh, synthesis in the skin. that goes to the liver, the kidney. It becomes a molecule called calcitriol. And we have receptors all over our body. Almost every cell in our body has a receptor for this calcitriol, particularly the immune system. And so we've known for a long time through independent cell research that vitamin D does boost and modulate the immune system, as well as the other stuff we know about cardiovascular, as well as bone health. And so studies are coming out of China um, early on when people were getting sick in the hospital. And they started realizing that people that were the sickest in the hospital and had the longest duration of illness had the lowest levels of vitamin D. And these were retrospective observational studies that were done looking at the population in China that had gotten infected. So based upon that, they looked at a lot of patients and realized that those that were the sickest had the lowest vitamin D levels. Now, it could also mean that people that are sick in general have low vitamin D levels, but nevertheless, it's an important piece of information demonstrating there's another molecule that we probably should be supplementing with to decrease our risk overall. So that's where the data was coming from, from these observational studies. There is a randomized clinical trial going on right now at Harvard to look at this to see actually is there a difference. But this is the data coming out from China right now. Well, you got our attention, so I guess mm -hmm. the million-dollar question is how do we boost our vitamin D level if it's low? Well, the first is sunshine. And so being out and about in the sun will definitely cause your skin to synthesize vitamin D. Now, again, that doesn't mean you go out and about um, and you are close to people, right? You're still maintaining your social distance, maybe in your backyard or walking down the street, but sunshine is the best way to get vitamin D levels elevated. Obviously, in lieu of that, you can ingest vitamin D through your, your meals. So fortified milks, fortified cereals are good sources of vitamin D. We know that fatty fish also good sources. Vitamin D2 comes from sun-dried mushrooms. So there are some um, dietary uh, sources. We also know that supplementation is important. 1,000 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D supplementation would be wise right now during this pandemic. That would certainly be important. Remember, however, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. We don't excrete the excess, so you can have an overdose. So be cautious mm. and mindful. Only do recommended daily allowance. Okay, right. good advice there. Well, as more people resume regular doctor appointments, either in person or through telemedicine, some say they're a little bit concerned about going to a lab to get blood tests. What's your advice to them? Certainly, and that's a legitimate concern, and you want to be going to a lab that is uh, being very mindful about how they are organizing their lab, meaning that they have uh, restrictions in place for how many people can be in the lab at the same time. They have protocols in place with cleaning and making sure the, the lab is sanitized properly. We know that Quest and LabCorp, the two largest in America, are doing a great job with that. I don't think people at this point should be fearful of going to their doctor's offices or labs to get any medical procedures done. The medical establishment is on top of this, ensuring your safety. So I think not getting your blood draw is actually more dangerous right now than going into uh, a lab draw station. So I think everyone has to have confidence that we are on top of this um, throughout our, our, our county right now. And so um, just be mindful of that. Yeah, they know what they're doing. All right, Dr. Anthony Cardillo, Cardillo, thank you so much. Our ER specialist It's great to see you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.